Hello everybody, Michael Tyler here with another free Vectric Project of the Month. This month's project is an autumn themed project you can create over a weekend and I call it the Pumpkin Patch Decor. I was inspired by seeing some larger projects that were similar to this were made with real slats and they were made uh, large for a porch display. But I used the Vectric VCarve software to create this smaller version just for you. You can set it on a shelf, a mantle, or a table, or whatever you'd like. I used the VCarve software to create the entire project, and the wood grain that you see uses a V-bit to cut shallow pattern grooves into the wood for an old wood slat appearance. A paint and glaze technique is applied to enhance the wood grain details of the slat pumpkins. I hope you'll enjoy this project. As usual, you can download the project from your V&Co account and you can find that link for that below. If you do make your own version, please feel free to share that on the Vectric forum and across social media. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for instant updates on new project videos we release. Okay, I've got all the parts sanded up and I'm going to apply some uh, denatured alcohol mixed with 50-50 uh, bullseye zinser seal coat which is a 100% clear de-wax shellac. So it's a 50-50 mix alcohol and the seal coat, zinser bullseye seal coat. And I apply this overall and that helps to seal the wood a little bit because I'm going to apply paint and a glaze on these pumpkin pieces and that'll seal the paint, but before I apply the paint, this will also raise some of the fuzzies so I can do a final sanding and get the remainder of the fuzzies off, if there are any. So I'll go ahead and uh, coat uh, the stems and the pumpkins with this uh, mixture, and then I'll come back and we'll proceed with the rest of the finishing process. Okay, I put two coats of the seal coat and sanded uh, the remaining fuzzies, and now I'm going to uh, further seal just the top. I'm not going to worry about uh, you know doing the backside or anything, but I'm going to seal this a little bit more with a couple light coats of this Krylon Gloss Crystal Clear, and then uh, follow that up with some Krylon Flat Crystal Clear, so that that gives the paint a little bit of bite to bite onto with that flat, uh, so it doesn't go over the uh, gloss. Okay, I've got the pumpkins all sealed as well as the stems and I've made myself a note on color decisions. I'm going to use a, a dry brush technique just having a little bit of color on these uh, uh, 
slats here using a dry brush with just a tiny bit of paint. And I think I'll make the small one a sort of a white gray, and maybe some natural, and the medium one a orange and browns, and the large one whites and browns. I'll also change my mind along the way, but that's basically what I'm going to do. And the stems, I haven't quite decided yet. I'll probably use some sort of a green and then uh, go over that with uh, a darker brown glaze. So I'll show you the first one, and uh, that'll be, I'll do this medium one first. I'll squirt some orange paint there, and I think I'll get a little bit of uh, brown as well. I've got a light brown and a dark brown. And let's see if we can do this dry, dry brush technique here. I've got a new brush. Sometimes I'll use a older brush like this where it's not clean, it's kind of stiff. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go very lightly with this, this dry brush. New brush. Okay. So you see I'm just just kind of kissing the top top of that, adding a little bit of color. And we'll do a little bit of variation of color with these slats. Now the grooves I'll come back and do a dark brown or maybe even a black in the slats there. I'm just trying to give an effect of an old paint job that's deteriorated somewhat and a hint of orange. Okay, I think you get the idea. Then I'll do the same thing on the uh, large and the small pumpkins and then we'll come back and do the glazing technique and these uh, darker grooves inside. Okay, I'm going ahead and painting the uh, slat lines, the black color that I mentioned. Thought about dark brown, but I think I'm going to use dark brown as a glaze, so I wanted to be sure this is just a tad darker and got good coverage there, so I'll just paint these with a, a small brush and some acrylic black paint here. Okay, the paint's dry on the pumpkins and also the stems of the pumpkins. So I'm gonna apply uh, a light coat of uh, crystal clear gloss and then follow it up with the crystal clear uh, Krylon flat. And uh, that's just to seal the paint a little bit before I apply the final uh, glaze.
Okay, I'll let that set up a little bit and apply uh, one other light coat and then uh, apply the flat and then we'll continue on with the rest of the finishing process. Okay, I've got the clear coats dry on the paint uh, to seal it before the glaze, but before I do the uh, glaze, I'm going to go ahead and glue the stems on each one of the pumpkins. Now, one thing that I did, I just numbered the stems uh, according to the plans in the uh, Vectric software, uh, just so that I could keep these together, keep track of them. So I labeled this one uh, two, this one number three, and this one number one. So I could just keep those together. But you see how the contour, this will automatically just sort of pocket in there. I'm gonna glue these. You can glue them with uh, wood glue, but I'm gonna use some uh, super glue. This is uh, medium CA glue, super glue, and an accelerator just to speed up the process. So typically what I'll do is I'll apply the uh, super glue on one side of the joint, and then I'll put on some of this accelerator on the other side mating piece and I'll just simply join those together and you've got a uh, little bit of time to kind of position that in there and then that'll set up pretty quick so I'll do that for all three pumpkins I'll just hold this here for a few seconds and then continue on with the other two okay I've got the glue dried on the stems and um, getting ready to glaze so I'm going to use this uh, dark brown acrylic craft paint and I'll thin it up with a little bit of water and then uh, basically just uh, brush it on overall and I'm trying to leave this a little bit bare so uh, that's where I'll glue it into the the base keep the paint off there if I can Okay, and I got a wiping rag here and just basically wipe it all off and you can see how that really brings out the detail of the grain grooves that were carved. So um, you could optionally, you know, finish these uh, sides. I, I'm going to go ahead and just leave them natural, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and uh, paint with full strength acrylic paint uh, all the way around the edges if you like. So I'm just wiping off the excess here and I'll use a little sandpaper if I have to to get any off that I can't get, get wiped off there. So that's the technique. Pretty easy and it really enhances those details. Do one more for you here. Okay, I'll finish up the uh, last one, and then uh, once this dries, then I'll uh, apply the final clear coats on this, and then uh, after that, we'll glue it into the base. Okay, I've got the base for the pumpkins all cut out and sanded, and I'm just going to leave it natural. Of course, you can opt to stain it or paint it or whatever you want to do with it, but I'm going to leave it natural. I've already coated the bottom with uh, Krylon uh, Clear, 
and I'm going to go ahead and use the Krylon clear gloss and then uh, finish that up with a, a Krylon uh, satin. You'll notice that I put in some masking tape in the slots. That's because I'm going to glue those pumpkins in and the masking tape will just help uh, give it a little better bond with the glue once I remove it and keep that Krylon clear coat off of there. Okay, all the finishes are dry, and so I'm in the process of gluing in the pumpkins into their slots. And I've got them numbered, like I uh, did for the stems when I glued those on. So I just spread a little glue around in these slots and apply some glue onto the pumpkins themselves. And it's just a matter of uh, putting them in place. Now it is important that you keep track of these numbers because believe it or not, the slots are different sizes, slightly different sizes. So the order is important, or the matchup I should say is important. Okay, we'll just let that sit and dry. And that should just about finish the project right there. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this project. This is Michael Tyler signing off until next month with another free Vectric Project of the Month. Happy carving!